I can't play this video of you because you're like touching your boobs. <laughs> I just what? I just clicked on part of the video and you were like So now I have to delete that. I have to start over now. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joel Talentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to zoom in and out in Camtasia 9. All right, so I'm in the dashboard right now in Camtasia 9, and I've already got a video loaded up on the timeline. So when you are ready to do the zoom in and zoom out feature, you wanna make sure that the video clip or the picture that you wanna zoom in and out on is highlighted. So you need to click on it and make sure that it has the yellow border around it. Then you wanna head over to animations and you'll now see this thing called zoom and pan. So that's what you're gonna so that's what you're going to use to zoom in and out of whatever you're working on. So when you're ready to zoom in, you want to do it through this window right here. You're not touching anything on the actual playback screen. You're doing it on this small one right here. So when you're ready to zoom in, you basically pull on the corner and let's say you zoom in over here, right? And then let's say you're done and you want it to zoom back out. Well, you need to physically do that and put it back in the right place that you want to. You can't just have it uh, zoom in and then have it go back by itself. You have to do it manually. So as you can see, I just did like a zooming in and zoom out thing. We'll just quickly play that for you. So it's going to zoom in and then it's going to play for a bit and then it's going to zoom out. This is just some test footage of my business partner here before we were shooting a video. So, so you can play around with all these different uh, circular knobs here. You can go zooming in through here and you can move it around if you only want it in this corner, if you want it over here. And you'll notice that when you are creating a new zoom in or a zoom out, this thing pops up whenever you do like a new movement that controls the movement that you just created. So I'm going to show you an example here. If you stretch this arrow out, that actually makes the zoom go slower. So I'll show you what I mean. So you see these short ones, I'll play it back. They happen pretty quickly. So if this doesn't lag, so it's kind of lagging right now because I have a bunch of programs open. But when it's shorter, it zooms in a lot faster. And when you stretch out the arrow, it goes a lot longer. So I'll show you right here. So this zoom in, as you can see, it's going slower, way slower than the previous one that I just showed you. And so you can play around with that with what speed you want and you know when you're done and you want things to go back to normal you just set it back to the original frame of the video and then you're back so definitely play around with that feature in your videos you can do some really cool things with it like zooming in really out like zooming in really fast and moving it over and doing like a pan oh another thing is um let me show you if you want to do a pan if you want to pan across your video, let me show you that really quickly. So let me just delete all these. And then let's say we want to pan from here all the way across the video, right? So let's start it over here and we want it to go across the video. So we'll just go all the way like that. So you can see it's going to zoom in and then it's going to pan later on. So right now it's just zoomed up so close to her face. And then we'll move the cursor over. It's going to pan across. So it panned across really quickly. I'm not sure if you saw it. It might have been kind of glitchy. Let me stretch it out a bit so that you can see it a little better. So I stretched out the arrow and we'll do the pan a little slower. So 
it's kind of glitchy right now but you can see you see what I mean it's going across the video and when you render the video even though it's glitchy right now when you render the video it will come out smooth it's just I've got a lot of programs happening right now because I'm doing a screen record as well as having this editing software on at the same time. So that is how you use the zoom in and zoom out function on Camtasia 9. I would highly recommend adding this to your videos because it will make for some dynamic footage when you use it properly. Alright guys, well if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving us a like, a comment, and subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead. Oh, <laughs>